crazy combination, it strikes me, of uh, c mental communication and physicality, because you have to somehow convince. And, and when I think of great conductors and, I, and what creates the magic, or in the case of, of Gustavo, when he met the Los Angeles Philharmonic, it was spontaneous combustion. It just, it was like a love at first sight kind, yep. of, kind of thing. I, I think there, are, it is inspiration, but I see how you, you work it in a different way, which is you're an amazing teacher. And one of the things that I notice is whether you're rehearsing a group of seven-year-olds who just learned the violin or the orchestra, the LA Philharmonic, you treat them with the same respect and the same approach to let's learn together. And, and it is quite remarkable to see. And it's, so it's not that it's condescending for either group, it's very involved. And so in, in the end, the way I like to describe it to people is you seduce the orchestra. You seduce them into believing your belief and sharing that vision. <laughs> I feel good about it. Okay. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> but it's, it's actually true. And that's, and that's why, you know, when you're trying to seduce somebody, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And that's, that's the mystery of the chemistry for the orchestra. But for conductors, you have to. Well, yeah, or else it, it's true because I played in an orchestra too and we always put the conductor down. What a stupid tempo. Oh, boy, he's, a, he's clumsy. You know, it's true. We, <laughs> But we not always, that. not always. Not always. Not always. I'm studying all the time, especially the pieces that I have conducted the most. <laughs> Just one week ago, I was doing all Beethoven symphonies with the Simon Bolivar Orchestra in Bogota, your city. <laughs> and, and it was amazing because and, and now we have a Beethoven Fest here yeah. we in opened October. The season. Yeah. And, um, it was beautiful to see, especially, and also at the same time, very complex. For example, with the Fifth Symphony. That is a symphony I don't know how many time, times I have conducted, but my first time was when I was 13 years old. So 21 years conducting that piece. And it's, it's crazy, it's funny, because every time is more difficult. And maybe it's because you have more knowledge of what you do. And the responsibility that you have with the composer, especially, with the genius of the composer. Because sometimes when we think we know something, we don't know anything. And that is, that is something that happens very often. You think, I know by memory, I know every note of this, but then, you are there and you say, oh, I didn't saw that last time. It's like when you read a book. When you read again the same book, you find other things that you didn't find the first time. It's the same when you are studying the music. And for me, oh my God, I have conducted many, many pieces in the repertoire, many. I have the blessed, but to have Maestro Jose Antonio Abreu, that the first thing, the first thing that he gave me was an orchestra. Even I was not a conductor, even I didn't have the knowledge, but he gave me an orchestra to practice. And the conductor is a lot about experience. That is why when you see a conductor with black hair, you say no. This is not true. <laughs> we want to see, we want to see Mr. Stokowski, you know, or somebody with white hair walking very slowly to the podium <laughs> and, you know, have the knowledge. I, I, I really hope to, to arrive to that, to, 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 to that age and walking fast, <laughs> at least. <laughs> Conducting is slow, but walking fast. <laughs> uh, but. The good thing of the, of the conducting, and I, I don't know, of many professions, but especially conducting, is that the time is infinite? Uh, it's a work? It is, I don't know. Exists? Infinite means Infinito. Sort of unending. Yeah, yeah. And it's like that. It's the same with Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. 
I'm sure I will take that symphony in three weeks in Milano and it will be the same thing but different. And next year or in 2017 or in 2022 or in 2030, maybe, when I will be conducting all this repertory. But you have to be very humble in front of the things that you have to do. That is the most important thing, you know. You, you have to put yourself here and the composer there. And the orchestra is in the middle between the composer and you. So you really, you are less than anything. So, uh, is my concept of, of how to deal with this.